This is the story of how two people filed over 100,000 fraudulent DMCA takedowns on Google to help their print-on-demand business. Let's get to it. So I'll link to this article in the description if you want to follow along. The title is Fraudsters Abuse Google's Copyright Takedowns to Target 117,000 URLs. The accused scammers filed fraudulent copyright takedowns while pretending to represent celebrities like Elon Musk and Taylor Swift, allegedly to boost their own t-shirt company. This should be good. <laughs> For years, fraudsters have abused copyright takedown notices to dupe Google into removing websites from his search engine, but now the company is trying to fight back. On Monday, Google filed a lawsuit against two scammers based in Vietnam who allegedly filed numerous copyright or numerous false copyright takedowns with the company that targeted over 117,000 URLs. These quote, these fraudulent claims resulted in the removal of over 100,000 businesses websites or business websites, costing them millions of dollars and thousands of hours in lost employee time. Google says in a blog post. The alleged scammers exploited a Google system that businesses and people can use to report copyright violations under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA. Google will then take down the URL, posting the infringing content if it finds the request to be legit. And by the way, guys, just interjecting right here, this is why I don't share like my Amazon or Etsy shop, because anybody who knows what they're doing can get me removed like that, because all of these systems are ripe for abuse. All right, I'm just saying, in case anybody was wondering, like I have nothing to gain and everything to lose. I do do share my uh, private community though, they know. Nguyen and Pham allegedly abused the system by creating Google accounts that posed as large companies and celebrity representatives, including Amazon, Twitter, NBC News, along with Elon Musk and Taylor Swift to trick Google into fulfilling the takedown requests. The goal was to manipulate the company into removing retail listings of competitors from its search engine. According to the lawsuit, Nguyen and Pham are linked to a t-shirt business. So probably their own like .com website and then they got everybody else removed from other websites. Quote, for instance, defendants falsely claimed to represent Amazon and alleged infringement of a t-shirt with the text, and this is the t-shirt text. In 2006, Beyonce said to the left, to the left, and my political compass was born, end quote. Google lawsuit says, and then quote, in another instance, defendants falsely claimed to represent Elon Musk, alleging infringement of a t-shirt with a logo with the text, quote, pharmacy technician, end quote. So far, the company's investigation discovered that Nguyen and Pham allegedly created 65 Google accounts that targeted 117,000 URLs, but the lawsuit adds that the pair appear to be linked to other takedown requests, quote, targeting more than half a million additional third-party URLs. That is insane. The scheme also worked. The company says it, quote, removed a significant number of third-party website URLs targeted by defendants, end quote. This includes search listings for one Google customer that paid the tech giant, quote, tens of millions of dollars per year on search ads. Now, I cannot help but wonder if that's Redbubble. And actually, I'm pretty sure it was Redbubble, and I'll show you why I think it was in a second. <laughs> Just funny that, like, Redbubble, I mean, ah, man, I feel almost like I feel bad now for being hard on them. But for a company that was valued, like, over $100 million, I'm pretty sure it was, like, up to, like, a billion dollars at one point by their market cap. They are publicly traded like they should have tried a little bit harder <laughs> like it seemed like they just don't care you know what i mean and literally two two people took them down you know what i mean or significantly negatively impacted their business here we go let's wrap this up google eventually caught on to the scheme the lawsuits notes google tracked nguyen uploading a video to youtube by the way it's funny if that's what it took for them to get caught uploading a video to youtube about how users can abuse google's copyright takedowns for search engine optimization so instead of just doing better seo than your competition it's like no no just file you know file dmca claims and get your competition removed Duh. To stop the scammers, Google is asking the court to force Nguyen and Pham to pay damages likely in the millions. The company also wants a permanent injunction that would ban the two from ever interacting with the search engine services again. And to wrap this video up, guys, I just wanted to show you that their uh, YouTube video is uh, linked in that article. If anybody cares to watch it, they're basically, I didn't actually watch this whole video, but it is one, it's two minutes long. All right. It's two minutes long. And it is just showing you basically something that I don't think actually this crowd of print on demand sellers probably needs to know. I don't think anybody, let's be real. Are you, any of you guys going to abuse this system? Uh, you just saw that they got caught doing it. So I don't think it's worth your time, even if you would, but uh, actually go back really quickly. Do you guys see right here? It's <laughs> It is Redbubble. All of these on the left-hand side are redbubble.com URLs. So it, it certainly looks like they were in fact abusing um, primarily Redbubble, but it also it said other third-party websites. Anyways, guys, I will link to that article in the top of the description if you want to read it for yourself. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, it is just a crazy world that we live in. <laughs> At the same time, it's Google. Why, 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 why is Google allowing people to abuse that mechanism? You would think they would do better, but I know there's also only so much they can do on the security side of things. Either way, guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. And and on your way out, if you don't mind, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video.